Yeah, I know I've sinned. I admit I'm a sinner. I failed in so many ways, I can't even meet my own expectations, far less God's. And His standard is perfection. There is no way I could ever be perfect. The Bible says in Romans 3.23 that all of us have sinned. And I don't doubt it. I'm yet to meet a perfect person. And the reality is, we're all in the same boat. We're all guilty. It also says the only payment for the problem we have is death. Not that we die and it's over and nothing else, but eternal death. That is, separation from God forever in a place called the lake of fire. That's pretty crazy. Sin keeps us out of heaven, and there's nothing we can do about it. No matter how hard we try, we can't attain perfection. Does that mean everyone is lost forever? Romans 6.23 says that God has offered us a gift, the gift of eternal life. If I'm a sinner and God demands perfection or else the lake of fire forever, how is it possible that he offers us life? And that is what we read here, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. What does it mean that he died for us? He died in our place, took the punishment, we deserve and now what he wants from us to acknowledge what he did for us and simply put our faith and trust in him he wants us to surrender our life to him and make him lord i need to tell him how i feel save me lord jesus be the master of my life and forgive me of all my sin cleanse my soul and give me a new life thank you lord jesus for saving me